I'd like to talk to you about the four principles of career distinction. When we were researching our book, we wanted to see what makes some people exceptional in the workplace. There's a lot of people who are doing great things, but that small percentage of people that are just absolutely exceptional, what is it that they have in common? And we determined that there are four things they have in common that help them to be so exceptional. They are stand out, stand for something, be your own boss, forget the latter, and build your brand. So let's take each of those separately. Stand out, stand for something. Well, one of the things that we learned is that people who are wildly successful are willing to stick their neck out a little bit. They're willing to stand for something knowing that not everybody's going to agree with them. And, and that's a great key in branding, right? Sometimes we repel as many people as we attract. So if you're willing to take a stand, if you're convicted, if you have a thought leadership position, that's really important to your brand. You want to be able to stand out so that people recognize you and understand what it is that you stand for. The second one is be your own boss. You know, back 20, 30 years ago, when you worked for a company, you were pretty much there for life. They would manage your career for you. As long as you didn't make too many waves, you leave who you were at the door, you go in, you conform, that's what they wanted from you. They would manage your career, move you around, take care of you. You retire with a pension at the end of 30 years. Well, that's not the way of the world anymore, and it's certainly not the way of the work world. Today, you need to be your own boss. That means managing your own career. So you have to think about, well, where do I want to go next? Um, have a career discussion with yourself. What is it I need to accomplish this year that will help me get to the next step in my career? These are the things that are going to make you successful. You can't wait for somebody else to manage your career. You can't look to HR. You can't look to your manager. You need to take this upon yourself and proactively manage your career. The third area is forget the ladder. We all know the ladder metaphor, right? We're climbing the rungs of the ladder. And when we're seeking the next rung, all we think about is our career, right? We update our resume. We start reaching out to professional networking contacts and so forth. Everything focused on getting to that rung. And what happens when we get to the rung? We forget all about managing our career. It's very binary, right? We're not managing our career anymore. We've reached that rung. So we get caught up in voicemail and emails and meetings and so forth. And we don't think about our careers again until it's time to reach for the next rung. Well, that doesn't work in the new world of work either. What you want to do is manage your career every single day with everything you do. You want to ask yourself, what am I doing today that's going to help advance me to where I want to go? Right? So instead of a ladder, you need to think about your career as a ramp. That ramp means that with every step you take, you're advancing toward your goals. So you have to ask yourself, how is this meeting today going to help me advance my career? How is this phone call going to help me advance my career? How is everything on my do list today going to help me take the next step by adding value and demonstrating that value in everything I'm doing today? The fourth principle is build your brand. We have seen that the people who are wildly successful have integrated branding strategies into everything they do. Every day they're asking themselves, is this helping to add value to my brand or is it detracting from my brand? And they make decisions based on those things that are going to help them increase their visibility with their target audience, demonstrate what makes them exceptional, and so forth. So you want to be thinking about everything you do. Is this helping me? Or is it detracting from brand value? And make sure that you're putting your mark on everything you do, every agenda you write, every meeting you attend, every phone call you have. When you do this, branding becomes a natural part of how you manage your career and how you add value to your employer and those around you. So those are the four principles of career distinction. Stand out, stand for something, be your own boss, Forget the ladder and build your brand. What have you done for your brand today? 